Facebook and hello TikTok. How are we doing today? Welcome back to another metal detecting video. I'm Shane. If you like these videos, uh, if you like metal detecting content period, if you like uh, Nova Scotia content, if you like beach content, make sure you uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel as I have lots coming in the future. Uh, I'm trying to steadily teach myself better editing techniques as well, so um, hopefully we're just on an upward plateau from here and um, it just keeps getting better and better. Whatever that means, we'll, the future will we'll tell. So today we're heading down to Clam Harbor, my usual spot. It is a uh, low tide. I have a new scoop I want to try out. I bought from um, a spot kind of closer to Quebec. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link to the description. I'm not getting paid by these guys at all, no sponsorship. Um, it's, they have a really great selection. Uh, the prices are a little high, but um, that's kind of life today. Um, and it was really hassle-free and a good experience overall. So I would suggest if you guys need any of your metal detecting needs, maybe try it. And you're in Canada. I'm not sure if, if you're in the States, you might want to check just to make sure. But uh, yeah, if you're in Canada, definitely check out Forest City Metal Detectors somewhere just outside of Sherbrooke or something, somewhere in Quebec there. So anyway, like I was saying, today we're at Clam Harbor. Uh, it should be low tide about 20 minutes ago. Uh, you know me, I like to show up just as the tide is ending. I'm always late, but that's all right. So uh, I'll see you when we get down there. I'll probably uh, turn you on at the car and I'll show you the new scoop and all that. So yeah, we will uh, we'll see you at the beach. It's a beautiful day. God, it's gonna be a great day out here. I'm really excited. I wonder if there'll be people here. We're still a little early for the, the summer vacation yet. So I doubt there's a big crowd here, but I bet that there's more than um, we're used to seeing too. I'm gonna guess there's like 10 cars, maybe 15. I could be overestimating too though. So it looks like I did overestimate and there's like two cars here, three. Crazy. All right, I'm gonna get ready and we'll see you down there. That was cute. A little, uh, a little girl and her grandmother just walked up and the grandmother said that the little girl fell in the water. I have a funny feeling it was a little more intentional than fell. It's a beautiful day here. Hopefully the tide's really low. Oh yeah, by the way. My new scoop. I'll uh... I don't know what I'll do. Because I always say that I'm going to make you a review for stuff, but I just never do it because I hate doing videos like that. But maybe after a couple weeks I'll consider it because I did spend a pretty penny on this thing and I know it's a, it's a fair purchase. But I will say so far, I like the angle of it. Um, it's got a good angle. It should help me to be able to get a steeper on the... Oh look, they got a sandcastle competition sign. My ADHD is showing as usual. Can you guys see that? Hopefully you can. Um, oh yeah, okay. August 18th, 2024. So I'll do some free advertising for Clam Harbor. If you guys are in or around Nova Scotia in the month of August, I really highly suggest that you come here and check that out. This beach is awesome on, uh, on less than good days. On... Uh, in the, in the dead of summer at Sandcastle time, this place is magical. I really suggest that you come and check it out. Okay, I'm gonna get right at it. I'm gonna try to... Finally, the beach looks kinda half similar to, the, to what it did last time. I don't know how much you guys really care about this, but you can see a clear high tide mark. So we have some stuff to work today. I'll probably go down closer to the shoreline and then work my way back up and work around the bank on my way back. That's just for the fun of it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, awesome. See you when we see you. All right, I can already tell that this scoop is gonna be a game changer.
pull tab or something. But still, just to get to use that scoop, it pulls so much more sand. It's at a perfect angle. I'm really happy. I just looked out at the beach. Look at those white caps. Damn. Could be in the Bahamas. Not quite. Look at that behemoth. What's up, bro? All right, so I'm just making my way back down to uh, kind of like my magic spot down here. And uh, I'm just walking down pondering. I don't know if you guys saw the video that I just released a couple days ago. I think I was at Martinique potentially. It might have been the multiple day adventure that I posted. But anyway, um, in that video, I posted a picture that I had found when I was doing research for uh, my Ernie Stoddard video. I'm going to put that picture up on screen right now. And I want to know what you guys think. Is that right here? Does this line up? And the reason that I'm asking that is because you'll see in the picture, the trucks are actually parking like kind of up on kind of like an island sort of thing. And I'm wondering if that isn't this and it just got eroded in the near 100 years since that picture got taken. Let me know what you guys think. All right, underneath this rock, I wasn't too sure about the signal overall, but underneath that rock was this fork. And it looks silver plated to me, brother. It's been there a while, that's for sure. Can't quite tell, but that looks silver plated. Very awesome, man. Find spoon, forks, knives, everything here. And I'm almost sure this is where those trucks and stuff were parked. Fancy that. So there's something right beside that. So let's see if, uh, let's dig this together. You can see the scoop in action. Look at that. Oh. Yeah, it's a little wet for uh, sifting. We got it. Where'd you go? Oh, spike. A really wore down one. Fold the tip over without stabbing myself. And that can go in the junk pocket. This hole won't stop giving. That's a really good signal though. Might be a... Uh, the spoon to that fork, honestly. Man, this scoop is amazing. What is this now? That doesn't look metallic to me. Oh. What is this? What are we looking at here now? I gotta wash that off. Um, I don't want to get too excited. It kind of looks tokeny. Auto and station wagon. Oh, it's a bridge token. Oh, I wonder if I can date that. So here in Halifax and Dartmouth, we have two bridges that, uh, that cross the, that cross the harbor. Oh, that's so cool. Auto and station wagon. I wonder if I can date that. That's so dope, dude. I'm so thrilled with that. All right, I don't know what it is as of yet. But yeah, there's something metal in here. We found another one of these on my really good day here. What was that, a couple weeks ago? Oh no, maybe it's not the same thing. That looks more like just a traditional snap button. Maybe from the same coat that that uh, button button was from. If you remember that video. If not, go back and watch it. All right. Another real good signal. Let's see what it is. I'm not going to be able to say enough good things about this scoop. Oh. 
Got it that time. Hot air. All right, after some struggling, we got one. Pray for King George with me, guys. So many pennies around here, it's crazy. Can't quite tell, let me wash it out. I think we missed it by a year, 1953. First year of Queen Liz. Still pretty cool. I had to do some serious screwing around, but we got it. I knew it was a good signal. Looks like more uh, silver plating to me. Caked on there. Yeah, for sure, man, 100%. Look at the patina on that. Oh, that's sick. Oh, <laughs> look at it. I don't know what the fascination with spoons and stuff here is. Can I read that? I can't. It's got a maker's mark on it right there, but I can't see it. If I can get a good picture of it later, I will. Same with the fork. Man, awesome. All right, after a bunch of screwing around closer to the water, I got another jean bucket or something, or a bucket, jean uh, button or something. All right, I had to move, and this smells disgusting because you'll see that's like a seaweed that got trapped and then decomposed underneath the sand, which is nice. But we, uh, we got this. Don't know what it is yet. It's a penny. This one was much closer to the water. Uh, oh, that's Queen Liz though, for sure. 1960 something, maybe. Queen Liz, Penny. I've been screwing around in there for a while, but look at that. It's like near see-through. God, that's gorgeous. I'll bring you back if I end up finding that. I don't know if I'm gonna. All right, I'm being told I have one. Let's see what it is. Is that it? Yep, what is this now? It's more of that mechanism. Oh, this is a zipper. Aha! Man, that doesn't look like a new zipper either, does it? That's kind of cool. That looks well made. Does that say dart? I think that says dart. The old dart jeans, boys. All right. I got one and I'm hopeful because it was pretty deep. That was lucky. What do we got here now? Huh. Is that metal flaking off? Nope. This is it, right? Yes. I have a feeling I know what this was. Maybe. It looks silver, right? No, I was thinking maybe that was a one side of a ring but i don't know you see those grooves there i don't know what that is it's hefty though it's heavy what sort of day would it be at clam harbor beach we can get a little bit of brown sea glass that looks a little bit sharp i'm gonna be careful well no it's actually pretty good it's rounded off pretty well as you can see there cool another piece for the box and yeah i don't know if you, if you guys follow my channel at all you'll have seen we've been kind of tracking this 
At one point about a month ago, it was buried right up to these. And here about two weeks ago, it was completely uncovered. Now there's probably, oh, I don't know, six or eight inches of, uh, of sand that's washed in there now and is uh, up against it. So that shows you how much the, the beach changes over time. It's actually crazy. This one kind of popped out of the ground awkwardly, as you can see here. But uh, 83. And there's another signal right beside it, so uh, I think anyway. Yeah, there's something right there. Let's see what it is together. We got it. See it? Me either. I still don't see it. Is that it? You guys see it? I do see it. Now that is a fishy tag or a bird tag, one of the two. Doesn't look like there's any writing on it. But that's what that is. Cool. Look what I just stumbled across. God, that's almost the best find of the day. Oh, look at that. Beautiful color on it. Oh, it's a top too. Awesome, man. Like the great DJ Cali said. Khaled. Another one. Had to do a little screwing around, but we got this barb. I found more of this before. Weird. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this trip. Hopefully uh, that uh, success of a metal detecting trip will make up for the slight drought in uh, good content that I've, uh, I've had over the last few weeks, which I do apologize about. Um, I've just been uh, finishing up school, which uh, I just graduated and got my diploma, by the way. Uh, you should uh, you should congratulate me because I'm the shit. Anyway, uh, and I also started a new job, which has been um, taking a bit of my time, but it's only a contract for 12 weeks. So come the end of August, we'll see what happens. But anyway, like I said, that's going to cut it for this one. If you guys enjoyed watching me uh, pull stuff out of the ground here at Clam Harbor, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification so that every time that I upload, you guys get notified. That way you're not missing any of my uploads. All right, guys. Until next time. Peace.